Sex can only be dropped indirectly. You cannot plan consciously to drop sex. Sex can only be dropped indirectly. No one ever plans to drop sex. However, as meditation deepens and one attains to awakening, sex drops you on its own. Sex slips out of you, just like during changing of the skin, a snake comes out of the old skin easily. It feels like sex has dropped you. That is the only and the right way. You should never drop sex with conscious effort because that is only repression. <coughs> You should not pay any attention to sex. Your whole focus should be towards meditation and one day sex is going to drop just like an old leaf dropping from the tree. Not making, giving any noise, not making even any noise silently falling from the tree on the earth and disappearing. Buddha taught that attachment which is the desire to hold on to a permanent state or keep that thing or person generates cravings, wanting and insecurity. He believed it is one of the main causes of human suffering. Non-attachment, on the other hand, aims to cultivate a mind free from these limiting desires. Once we do this, we can then move towards a mind of oneness, which involves compassion and clarity of the vision and an understanding of impermanence. Not only do human not only do humans become attached to physical objects or things, but also to relationships, ideas, opinions, success and failure. Most of the problems we face as a species are and planet are direct result of our attachment to one or more of these things. If there is one thing that remains certain in this life, it is change. As soon as we realize the impermanence of our existence, it becomes much easier to let go of any attachment. While this the while in theory this sounds easy, however, even the greatest of masters struggle with letting go. There are six basic reasons why you might want to let go of attachment. Herman Hayes says, some of us think holding on makes us strong but sometimes it is letting go. There are six points, reasons. The first is less pain and suffering. Humans tend to hold on to things, but this futile grasping, this attachment, most often leads to pain and suffering. This is because we internalize positions relationships and other objects of desire. Let me explain. Suppose I have access to something or someone from whom I derive pleasure, happiness or some form of enjoyment. Then suddenly this access is taken away. What happens? If we are attached, we suffer and we feel like we have been robbed. We feel like 
something that was once ours is no longer ours. Hence we suffer and experience pain. Second, re releasing illusory states. Human mind is an aggregate of conditions, beliefs, experiences, egocentric identities and perceptions. We start building mental models of the way things should be. We start building mental models of the way things should be. As most of us do not live in the present, instead we hang on to these illusions which exist only in our minds. When something comes along that does not correlate with our illusory mental state, we again suffer and again experience pain. This is because we have anchored and attached onto some object, experience or desire that we do wish to possess. Number three, letting go of ego and identity. We also become attached to ourselves, to ourselves created identities. We also become attached to our own created identities. The ego is the I, the me, our personal identity. It is our perception of self, the separation of ourselves from the others, our attachment to who we think we are. It is an illusion that we have created to distract us from the truth. We fear losing our identity as this identity gives us something to cling on to. Many people have experienced this loss of identity more recently with the global financial crisis, jobs, homes, and relationships have been destroyed. Our attachment to these physical objects and relationships has left many people empty and struggling to find some form of identity. Next, attachment restricts new experiences and limits our potentials. Non-attachment and openness allows the individual to accept alternative ideas, possibilities and change. This facilitates the cultivation of new ideas and opportunities and promotes the state of beingness as opposed to doingness. In this modern 24-7 techno hyperdrive of sensory overload, it is often difficult to detach ourselves because we have become too busy. I am speaking of 24-7 sensory hyperdrive which is technical. We are busy being distracted and seduced by the next sound bite, the next gadget and next thing that are constantly developing and distracting our minds. Next, experience freedom, space and meaning. Non-attachment gives us freedom, space and time to contemplate the true meaning of life while attachment distract us from this reality. It influences how we 
perceive and react to our immediate world since a world of access leads to a roller coaster of highs and lows it is it in turns it in turn motivates motivates us to seek our more of those such moments this in turn motivates us to seek out more of those moments of pleasure we enter into a hedonistic world of want fulfillment which creates further wanting in an attempt to bring a lasting happiness next truly experiencing what it means to love truly experiencing what it means to love while at first the concept of non attachment in relationships and love seems almost contradictory it means it makes complete sense when we consider the true nature of love when you love without condition without attachment to receiving anything in return you are truly loving love is a state of being when you love someone and expect something in return that relationship is based upon conditions when you love someone or something without being concerned for a result or reciprocity then you have mastered what it really means to love to let go of these states of wanting something in return is truly powerful and the condition without fear it is pure freedom collective evolution so this is important to understand we do not want anything in return love is our nature a state of the being the flower has blossomed and you are simply sharing its fragrance and beauty with anyone who comes in contact not paying attention or bothered whether the one responds or not on a day to day basis i go on sharing this overflow as a part of my love for the growth of humanity and human consciousness there are many people who have mentioned they listen to it only when they have time when they get time they listen but not always i am not bothered about whether anyone listens to it or not i have blossomed there is a fragrance and a beauty i must share with anyone who is ready maybe one or two or limited number of people listen to it on a regular basis that is not my concern my concern is to go on sharing what i have within and for now